In a previous video, I showed how to use Keynote on a Mac to do mask with selected shape. When you're trying to edit a slide to show just a feature of a photo using a particular spot uh, of the photo. But now I'll show you how to do this on PC using iCloud. Log in with your iCloud account, click on Keynote, and then you can upload some image after you've created a presentation. I like to get rid of all those little things that are by default in a keynote presentation. We'll upload a file of the university and then choose one of the pre-selected shapes or the default shapes that's in keynote. There's lots of different complex shapes to choose from. Uh, but today I'm going to go with a t-shirt instead of one of the basic shapes. You can drag that t-shirt around so that you can see it in different covering different spots. I like to set the opacity to about 50% and change the color to blue uh, so that I can see roughly where I'm masking it. The problem with iCloud is it does not offer the option to do mask with selected shape directly within the iCloud uh, within iCloud on the browser. You can check all the menus. If you find it somewhere, let me know, but uh, I have not been able to find the mask with selected shape. In theory, you could go to a Mac laptop after this has been uploaded to iCloud and edit it using the Keynote app there. Uh, but maybe you don't have that. So after giving up on trying all the different spots where there might be uh, a mask with selected shape feature, instead of doing that, uh, we're going to go over and try to do this editing with an iPhone. You will need an iPhone or a Mac laptop to do this, but we're going to do an iPhone today. I'm going to name this thing Elon Mask T-shirt just so I can find it easily when I get over to my iPhone. Now, launching Keynote on the iPhone, and I should see that same Elon Mask T-shirt file. And when it launches, I can see the same things that were on the iCloud browser on my PC. Uh, I have to click both of them the same time. So click them uh, with your uh, two different fingers and then you get the option for mask with selected shape. You can resize it in the browser there. When I go back to the PC, I see your presentation was updated. And so I'll click OK on that. When I update it, I'll see the version that was on my iPhone. And at that point, I can do all the same edits that I might have done in Keynote on my Mac laptop, including adding a background uh, or doing a drop shadow if you want to do that. So that's how to do a mask with selected shape using iCloud on a Windows PC.